today, we will see the role of zero in decimal numbers. Let's start with an interesting question. Nisha, Meena and Mitali were all well aware of decimal numbers. The teacher asked them to compare 1.09 and 1.9. Here, Nisha thought that both numbers are equal. Meena thought that 1.09 is greater than 1.9 and Mitali thought that 1.9 is greater than 1.09. Can you tell me who was correct? Think for a while. Let me explain this. Nisha is having a misconception that there will be no change in the value of a number whether there is zero or not. According to her, both numbers are the same and Meena is having a misconception that there are more digits in 1.09, hence 1.09 is greater than 1.9. Here, Mitali's understanding is correct. Suppose we consider a large square as one unit. Then, how will we represent the decimal form if we consider one whole square and consider nine parts out of hundred parts of a whole square? Pause the video and think about it. One square means one unit, so we will write one in units place. Here, another square is divided into hundred parts and nine parts are taken from it. So, we can say that along with one unit, there are nine hundredths, which is represented in decimal form as 1.09. Similarly, if one whole square is taken and another square is divided into 10 equal parts and 9 parts taken from it, then we can say that along with one unit, there are 9 tenths, which is represented in decimal form as 1.9. From the representation of 1.09 and 1.9, it is clear that 1.09 is smaller than 1.9. Therefore, Mitali's understanding is correct. Zero has a greater importance in decimal numbers. If there is no digit at any place, then zero is used as a placeholder. With the help of zero, digits are written at their correct places. For example, it is correct to write one units and nine hundredths as 1.09, whereas it is incorrect to write it as 1.9. In order to know the importance of zero as a placeholder in decimal numbers, let's look at an example. Here are some numbers. Are their values equal? Pause the video and think about it. Let's find out the correct answer. Zero has a greater importance in decimal numbers. It is often used as a placeholder. That means, with the help of zero, digits are written at their correct places. For example, numbers like 1.9, 10.9, 1.09, 1.009, etc. seem to be similar. But zero holds the rest of the digits at their correct places so as to ensure that their values are correct. Let's write them in the place value table. As you can see, that 1.9 has 1 units and 9 tenths. 10.9 has 1 tenths, that means 10 units and 9 tenths. In this way, you can see that the place values of digits are changed with the use of zero. Similarly, in 1.09, there is 1 unit and 9 hundredths. 1.009 has 1 units and 9 thousandths. Since the value of digits is different in all these numbers, so the value of numbers is also different. Now pay attention to 1.9, 1.90 and 1.900. Are their values equal? Think for a while. Let me explain this. We can represent 1.9 by taking one whole square and taking nine parts out of ten equal parts of a whole. Similarly, we can represent 1.90 by taking one whole square and taking 90 parts out of hundred equal parts of a whole. 
and we can represent 1.900 by taking one whole square and taking 900 parts out of 1000 parts of a whole. As you can see that the number of parts represented by these numbers is equal. Therefore, all of these numbers are equal. Along with this, we can also say that by adding or removing any number of zeros at the end of decimal numbers, the value of number does not change. Can we use zero at any place in the middle of the first non-zero digit and the last non-zero digit in any number? Think for a while. No, we cannot do this. If we do so, the place of digit changes and so the value of number. So make sure that we do not place zero at any place in the middle of the first and the last non-zero digit in any number. In general, if there is no digit to the left side of the decimal point, then we keep zero to the left of the decimal point. The number zero before the decimal point represents that the number is smaller than one. So either we write 0 0.1 or 0 0.1, the value of both is the same. Today, we have seen the role of zero in decimal numbers. Thank <laughs> you.